Hi, my name is Kayhani. And my name is Katrina. I am from Somalia, but I grew up in Kenya, so I speak Swahili. My friend Kayun is from North Korea. She speaks Korean. And we are learning English together at Kipling. Our childhoods were very different. My mother and father divorced when I was a kid. My mother worked day and night. She worked on a farm and she was also a businesswoman. I had to live with my grandparents. Grandmother and grandfather took care of me. They told me a lot of good stories and gave me lots of love. My grandfather died when I was 8 years old. My childhood was spent with my mom, dad and my grandparents. I was very young when we had to leave Somalia because of the war. I left with my mom, dad, my brother and my grandma. I never get the chance to go to school, but I learned to read, write and do math at home. My family taught me. I also began my education at home with my family. My grandfather taught me how to read and write. When I was 8 years old, I started school. Almost the name of my first school. My grandmother held my hand and took me to this elementary school. I study eight hours a day. Elementary school is four years long, but I only want to fall two years. Because my grandmother got sick and life became very difficult. I stayed home to look after my grandmother. Life in North Korea was busy and difficult. Mom had to work hard. She worked day and night. I only saw her sometimes. My good friend Kuka and Sergyong helped me a lot. I was so sad to leave them behind. I want to see them again someday, thanks to such good friends. I am also glad that Kayun is here. Unlike Kayun, my very first school was Warburn Junior Public School in Scarborough, Canada. Warburn was a really nice school. Everyone was friendly to me and my classmates were nice. They helped me learn English because that was my first time in a school. My teacher were nice and kind to me. My mother and I left North Korea and went to China. From there we come to Canada. I am so glad to be here in this great country. My grandmother had to be left behind, but she will be happy to know that I'm going to school here and that we are safe. Rarely sometimes, but safe. Katrina, thank you for sharing your story with me. You are welcome, Gayum. Thank you.